Okay, so let's take a look at a system of equations. So in this question here, this is 2b. We're given a system of equations, which, which just means that we have two or more equations that we need to plot on a graph, and we need to figure out where the common shaded area is. So it's essentially the overlapping shaded areas for uh, a question like this. Okay, so the first thing we'll, we'll do is we just need to quickly put all our equations into y equals mx plus b form. Okay, and then we can go from there and then plot those really quickly. So our first one here at the top, x plus y is less than 4. Okay, so if I'm going to put this into y equals mx plus b form, I'm going to subtract x. So we're just going to have y is less than or equal to negative x plus 4. Okay, and then we know from this... Uh, equation we know that b is equal to plus 4 and m is equal to negative 1 over 1. Okay that's going to be our slope. Then for our second equation we are going to have y is less than and we're going to add x to both sides so just make that as plus x or x by itself plus 4. Okay and again in this equation we know b is equal to plus 4 and m is just equal to 1 over 1. Okay, and then the very last equation is just is a, an equation where there is no x variable. Okay, we could put something like this into y equals mx plus b form. Okay, it would look like this. It would be y is greater than or equal to. Um, uh, we don't have a slope, so it would be 0 times x, okay, plus 0. Okay, but that... All it means in this case is that y is just greater than 0 because we never have an x value here. So we don't actually have to write it that way. We'll just write it y is greater than 0. But this means that x can equal any number. Okay. So let's take a look at how we can plot these here. So our first equation is we're going to be at um, plus 4. And our slope is going to be down 1 over 1. Okay, so our three dots are going to look like this. And our inequality here is uh, less than, and it's less than or equal to. So we know in this case that we are going to have a straight line, okay, that is solid going through those three points. Okay, and we need to know where do we shade the, this equation. So we know we have a less than symbol. Okay, so that means y is going to be shaded below the line. So I will just take this and we'll just put in some lines right here. And we're going to shade that as below the line. Okay, I'm just going to use a different color. We'll go to the other equation here. So x plus 4. So again, we're going to have an intercept of 4. But our rise over run this time is going to be a line that looks like this. So it's going to be a positive sloping line. Now, we don't input a solid line because this is just a less than. So we will take our color, or we'll take your ruler, and you will draw a dashed line going through those three points. Okay, and again, we're shading below the y, um, the line. We're shading below the line because it says y is less than. Okay, so that means our shade, or pattern that we're going to shade is going to be below. So you can see we have two areas now that are overlapping. We have sort of a triangular area in the lower part. Okay, and then our last question here says we have to shade things that are all values of y that are greater than zero and x can be any number. Okay, so let's use another color here. Okay, so we know x, remember our x-axis is going to go from the positive direction to the negative direction. Okay, so x can be any number along that axis, but we're going to shade all values that are for y that are greater than or equal to 0. So greater than or equal to 0 means that we're going to be shading everything here above the x-axis. Okay, and then because that's going to capture all values of y that are greater than 0. So the common area that you would get as a solution that you'd have what you want to indicate, and I'll just put this in a different color here, orange, is this triangle shape right here. Okay, that is the sum total of all the overlaps of the three equations. Okay, so you would just want to shade in, and you shade it in up to the boundary line. 
okay, not over. Okay, but that little triangular piece is the solution to those three systems of equations. Okay, that means any number located inside that triangular area up to the boundary lines, as how they're defined, um, would be um, a solution simultaneously for all those equations. Okay, um, and I think the only last thing I should point out here is when it says y is greater than or equal to zero, because that's a greater than or equal to sign, okay, we should actually put in a solid line along the x-axis to indicate that it's a solid boundary, okay, just like that. Okay, so that's how you plot the three simultaneous equations and shade them in the correct way. And then what you're looking for is a final shaded area Inter as to indicate as your complete solution.